On a sunny summer day, Iceland's Westman Island seem a vision of serenity. But despite the placid appearance, this is in fact one of the most volatile places on Earth. Volcanic activity runs rampant in Iceland. Earthquakes and eruptions occur frequently. And the land above and below the sea is in a constant state of flux. The landscape is not the only thing changing in the Westman Islands. Something mysterious is happening to one of the island's best loved inhabitants, the Atlantic puffin. And the pufflings have actually been dying. They've found them next to the holes and they feel that they've been starving. But their loss will be a blow for their neighbors, the people of Heime. Puffin plays a huge role in the culture of this society. It has a place in the heart of everybody. So it is sort of important that hopefully things improve. Throughout history, birds have been abundant here. The high grassy peaks provide ideal nesting grounds. And the seas have offered up a steady supply of fish from year to year. It's been the almost ideal spot for Atlantic puffins. And over time, they've become tied to this place. This is one of the world's largest colonies, with an estimated 1.3 million nesting pairs. They spend most of the year at sea, returning to land in the spring to rear a single chick. But for the past three years, something has gone wrong. Almost none of the puffins are breeding. Researchers say they think they know the root of the problem. Historical catch records indicate a severe decline in the puffin's favorite food, a small, nutritious fish known as the sand lance. But for the last three years, it's been scarce in areas where it used to be abundant. The fish has also shown up late in the puffin's breeding season. Puffins are not the only birds that may be affected by the loss of the sand lance. Other Icelandic seabirds have also had breeding problems for the same three-year period. It was kind of sad to experience a third year in a row of, of total breeding failure, or close to that. One wonders if that's going to continue. Ecologist Erper Hansen has observed that some birds travel great distances to find food. Many have opted not to reproduce, and those that did reproduce held off until very late in the season, perhaps waiting for feeding conditions to improve. In desperation, some breeding birds have attempted to feed their offspring other types of fish that the youngsters can't manage. The sand sealy, the tiny little fish that the puffins are used to eating, hasn't been available. They've seen Puffin parents come in with large herring, but the little babies can't swallow that, so they can't eat that. The researchers believe the loss of the sand lance may be linked with climate change. In Iceland, ocean temperatures have increased by 3.6 degrees Fahrenheit in the past two decades. These puffins are not the only ones to be affected by global warming, but researchers say this colony is critical since it's one of the largest in the world. It's true, birds have one unique advantage over other species faced with changing surroundings. They can fly away. These puffins may do so, seeking out new nesting grounds if the food supply in Iceland continues to decline. Changing temperatures are creating turmoil in nature across the globe. But for the Westman Islands, where puffins have reigned supreme, the changes are hitting close to home. Sponsored by National Geographic Mission Programs, taking science and exploration into the new millennium.